how y'all doing? Okay, so I've had a rough weekend and I don't have my face on, so my videos have to be with me wearing my sunglasses because I don't want y'all to see me without my face on. I just, I don't know, I don't want to. Okay, so I'm coming at you with this bag that I have wanted to do a review on for so long and I've never actually got it and so now I have it. It is the delightful GM, the old model. And let me tell you, she is a big mama. And I just happened to have the PM. So it's kind of a review, well, tour slash comparison, just so you can kind of see. I do have on my channel a comparison between the Delightful PM and the Delightful MM. I wish I had them all three to show you, but I don't. Just have these two. But you already know that the Delightful bag is a hobo silhouette. Uh, let me give you the measurements. And basically, because you know it's not really a cut, you know, straight cut edge. So I just kind of measured from where the piping is, is curving. And so the Delightful GM measures 17 across at the bottom and then at the widest point, which is right here, that is 21 inches. It's 14 inches tall and then six inches deep, but only by measuring this piece. But she's got some hips, so it, it is gonna be a little bit further out. Okay, and just to refresh your memory on the PM, the PM measures 12 inches wide, okay, by 10 inches tall by five inches deep. So it's the same height as the Petite Noe. The Noe, the Petite Noe is like 10 by 10. 10 by 10 by seven or eight, I think. And so you can see there is a huge difference in these two bags. And obviously the, the look of it's different too because on the GM, which is the only one of the three sizes that has these super cute functional zipper compartments in the front. Um, I mean, if you have stuff that you're not gonna use very often, um, you can put them in here. Now, they don't, when you open up the zipper, it doesn't go this way, there's, so there's not, you don't get to use this space. You only get to use this space. So they're functional, but they're not very big. Okay, so let's see, I was just gonna say, okay, you know my little infamous pin case. Well, let's see, that's probably, okay, she's not gonna fit, okay? She's too tall for that. So, gosh, what would fit in here? Okay, for me, let's just say my little, I don't even know if my little earbuds case will fit in here. Okay, yeah, my little earbuds case will fit in there, barely. And then, because I don't really need that very often, so I'll just stick it out here and conserve room inside my bag for other stuff. And then the other side, okay, I do use this a lot. This is a little concentrated room spray that I use when I go into public parties. And so I like to get to that quickly without making a scene and, you know, like making a bunch of noise in the bathroom. So I'll put that on the other side. Now, you may or may not want to use an organizer. Now, I brought my organizer to show you, okay? This is an organizer that I got by Original Club. Okay, I got it off of uh, Etsy. And it's very similar to the Samorga um, organizer. Organizers accept that it's a lot cheaper. And it does take some time, but you know, between the time you order it and the time you get it, it is, there is quite a bit of delay. But anyway, is I chose this one because it had all these pockets and it's really cute. I used it for my Speedy 40. I used it for my um, Neverfull GM. And so I've just, I haven't even tried this yet, so I was gonna see if it would fit in here. So if you don't want all the slouch, then you're probably gonna want to use an organizer. Um, which yeah, this organizer fits absolutely perfect in here. And I don't even know if you can see it. Okay, so it's in there. And it is just gonna give a little more organization and it's also gonna give it a little more structure, okay? Because it on the closure, you probably know, it only has this little, this little clip here. So I'm just gonna clip that together real quick and I'm gonna do a mod shot so you can kind of see. Okay, yeah. And so, um, oh, I also put, so whenever you have the drop here for your strap, when it's slouching, it's about 11 inches. Okay, I mean that that's really the only thing I need to measure because you're not going to be carrying it and it's going to be flat, right? Okay, so this is, okay, so yeah, the GM, I'm 5'6", this is how it looks, it's really cute, it's, you can get in, in and out of it from your shoulder, okay, I'm going to take this clip off, okay, yeah, so you can get in and out of it from your shoulder, I would, I feel like you probably do need to use an organizer just so that you can get your stuff, even though I use bags in my bags, if you want to get to your stuff easily, you probably do need to use the organizer. Um, you know, of course that's up to you. Some people are a fan of them, some aren't. In this particular bag, I don't mind it. I don't feel like it's going to make it super heavy. I mean, I don't know. It just depends. You know, it depends on how much you carry. So anyway, here it is from the shoulder. And you can see that it slouches. A nice little slouch. Gives a nice smile when it slouches. And then, of course, if you want to just carry it like this, you can. Which sometimes that's inevitable, right? When you're in a hurry and it just slips off your shoulder and comes down here. And then I, I don't really see people carrying it around like that, but I mean, I guess if you want to, it is definitely more of a shoulder bag. 
puddle bag. Um, okay, so I have my organizer in there. And you guys already know what I carry. Um, I'm going to take the organizer out so I can just show you what I normally put in there without it. Um, well, first I wanted to show you. So, you know, I have my reporter PM. My whole reporter PM will fit in the in the delightful. See, and she's so slouchy, you have to like it. Yeah, so my little reporter PM will fit in there. <laughs> so you could almost use this bag as a tote if you wanted to, you know? If you didn't like the traditional size of a tote, or like, uh, not the size, but the shape of it, then go for this one. But I just want to show that. I mean, I know you're not going to go run around carrying that because that would make it super heavy. So anyway, so I have my mid-size pochette that I carry. I have, I don't, it's not the wallet I carry. Oh, okay, so I have my, oh, all right. This is the six phone plus. I just want to give you an idea for the size. There is a zipper compartment on the inside and that can be for security for your keys or your phone. If I can get to it, cause it's so slouchy, you have a hard time. All right. Oh, okay. I forgot to tell you that the pocket on the inside is very generous. Okay. So you're not going to have any trouble fitting anything in there. I do have my zippy organizer. So I was going to see if that fit in there, but I also use these other things. So I have my little zipper pouch that I got from the Randoni sling that I use. Okay. Um, what else are in here? Uh, hello, my accessory pochette, which is a must. I have that. You probably are going to want to use the organizer though, because I can already feel that everything in there is like loosey goosey. Okay, so here's my zippy organizer, and I wanted to see if it can fit in that back pocket if I want to keep it organized because there's not a zipper closure. And yes, it does. It fits in there side to side. It's not up and down, y'all. It's side to side. Look. And it goes, see, there it is. And there's still a lot of room. So it's a huge pocket. So you can put your organizer or your zippy wallet or whatever full-size wallet. I happen to have this Sarah wallet too. I can fit both of them in there. I can fit both of those wallets in here and my phone. So I can actually put all three of those things in there. So if you're worried about a zipper closure, um, and, well, and you don't, you're, you're nervous about this bag because it doesn't have one, well, you do have this huge zipper interior pocket and that would help you, okay? Plus it has a D-ring right below it. So see, that way you can clip your keys there and then you can have all your, you know, your wallet and stuff on the inside and then you have your other stuff down here. Okay, so I have all those things and everything's loosey-goosey. I have my pin case. Um, I have my, uh, I can put my water bottle in here. This is just a smaller one. I can throw that in here. I've been carrying around, this is like my Mad Money pouch that's separate from my wallet. Put that in here. And so this is kind of all that I carry. Now, the um, Delightful, you know, you have to kind of fix it, okay? Because otherwise it's just gonna be gaping open like this. So it's a bag that you kind of have to fix. You know, when you get on your shoulder, you're gonna have to pop it up like this and fix it. Because otherwise, like I said, you just pick it up and it's just gonna, it's gonna kind of gape open like that. But it is a hobo bag, so it's meant to, to gather like this. And so what you'll notice on these Delightful bags is around the trim, if you don't keep it conditioned and whatnot, um, because they, you know, slouch a certain way, you will start to see creasing and um, not cracking, but just, well, eventually you, you probably would if you didn't take care of it, there's been cracking, but usually you're just going to see creasing, creasing on the leather on the top, which isn't a big deal, but it's just, I just wanted to mention it. Okay. So yeah, that's kind of how it is, you know, compared to the, of course, this little, the little baby over here, cause this thing will fit inside this thing. The big mama will eat the baby. She can, she can't. Okay, so here's here's how they look together on side by side. So you got the GM, the PM. Yeah, this is definitely a big mama. And I always knew that it was, but I'd never actually seen it in person. And I've watched videos on it, but you know, it's kind of hard to tell um, on some of the videos. Um, I know this one gal, BJ Taylor, she did a great video on this bag comparison and just overall review of it. Um, anyway, so yeah, there you go. Again, old model, delightful GM. And I love it because it has those two cute zipper pockets in the front and then also just the PM, which if you don't like to carry a lot, if you're just kind of a smaller bag gal, that's fine too. This is perfect size. This is a great grab and go bag. And this is, you know, this is where I'm at. I'm like a big mama tote. I like big mama totes. I like big mama hobos. I like big mamas. The only time I use my little reporter, which you've seen, is when I travel. And it's actually a great travel bag. And the size is um, deceiving because it has these two compartments and it fits pretty much what I, almost all what I carry in my daily bag, so it's kind of funny. Anyway, I hope this was helpful, and I'll be talking to y'all real soon. Okay, bye!